Hey there gamers, Mark Malone Gamer here. Welcome you to our first ever playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? And here we are. We are playing as, as you have seen, Henry, this rather disinterested looking person. He is a blacksmith's son and, uh, well, you know what? I was just watching this game in that opening cutscene, and I was just watching it 
with my mouth open. This game is gorgeous. And the thing that that really sets it apart at first glance is that it looks real. Um, there's a quality to it because I guess because it is real. It's modeled after actual, I think the actual Czech Republic, which was Bohemia back in the Middle Ages. And it just looks real. It, it's not like Skyrim or The Witcher, you know, was created. It's a fictional, everything's a fantasy, but this looks real. And even if the game is not in ultra settings, this is pretty much... I think I set this mostly on medium or to low to keep the performance up anyway. This game looks great. Even if our hero Henry here doesn't... He looks like a very dull fellow, but whatever. Anyway, let's get on with the game. By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitations. So, we were chatting in the tavern, which will make speech our primary characteristic. I was dancing, agility. I was with Bianca. Vitality. Not sure why being with a, a girl makes you more well. Anyway, I was working in the forge. Strength. Let's go with speech. Um, pretty much, I think speech gives you more s choices in dialogues, and I think that's the most interesting. Uh, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um... Well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope you didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Hmm. Alright, let's let's keep with speech. You think he's teaching me sword fighting, don't you? What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, Ma. Alright then, he's if you lying say to you, so. Ma. I don't mean to pry, but you know your father takes a dim view of such things. Go to your father. Hmm. Let's be a good son. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Let's ask some more questions, because we can. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Not this again. Leave it lie, Mother. All right. That's it. Right, so this is Henry's house. Apparently this is his bed. That is not a bed. It is a bench with some fur. And lots of bread roll. You know, I have a feeling that uh, we should take advantage of getting food as much as we can. Because, well, spoilers aside, we will not be staying in the idle, idyllic, comfortable country life forever. Because this is, after all, entitled Kingdom Come Deliverance. Not the happy home life of Henry, the blacksmith's son. Say cheese. Anything else here? Can we take the bucket? No. What's this? Oh, -ho. 
nails for Theresa. Why not? Let's take that. Take all of that. Not exactly sure what those are. Pressing up on the D-pad brings us the map. Pressing down brings us our character sheet. So inventory, all door keys. If we want item info, why? So we have cheese. Quarter cheese properly stored. It will keep well and is filling. Bread roll. A plated, crusty white bread roll. Smells wonderful and tastes just as good. Marigold de de decoction. Within one minute will cure light wounds or dispel hangover effects. Oh. First healing potion. Nails for Theresa. Nails for Theresa. Yes. Yes, game. <coughs> This is actually a pretty sweet house. Pretty large. But I gather that uh, blacksmiths... Oh, look at this. I feel quite hungry. Fine. Let's eat. Let's eat an apple. How do you eat? A. Alright. Are you fine? Alright. Are we done? Yes. <coughs> So this is the larder. Fairly well stocked larder. Can we get apples? Yes. Alright. Um, yeah. Uh, blacksmiths were professionals. So I assume that they are very well to do. The more skilled you were in your community, I think, even during Middle Ages, the better your life so if you're just a laborer or a, maybe even just a farmhand not very comfortable existence but if you're a skilled professional like a blacksmith life should be pretty sweet Look, they even have their own garden they have this little jacuzzi very nice well, I guess this land isn't technically theirs they probably Grindstone. Where is the grindstone? Anyway. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. What the hell? We just ate. Alright, we have 20 apples. Let's eat two apples. Alright, are you fine? Alright, let's talk to Father. Hello, Father. At least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunis, not drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Alright. So we have our missions. Buy a bag of charcoal, collect the debt from Kunesh, pick up the cross guard and bleh, go to the tavern. So we assume this is the castle. 
not a very large castle, but still, it's a castle. More like a fortress, but yes. Hello, hello. God be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. All right. That was easy. I have to say, it's very refreshing to play an RPG where the guards are actually very friendly to you. I guess Henry is a very well likable person. Who are you? No one in particular. All right. Check the map. So see, collect the debt, buy a bag of charcoal, buy ale. So we can weapons, armor, food, quest item, quest log, inventory, all quest items. Apparently we. We have no money, so we, we, we really have to get that debt, to collect that debt from this person named Kunesh. Kunesh. We also want to learn Indeed some I sword have. fighting. Well, I have nothing to smelt the ore with, and the king won't get his silver. <laughs> So this is Which charcoal king burner. Do you mean, Master Tobias? It's fairly the obvious. We can't really buy from him because we have no money. Hey, Pip! Do you want to learn something? No, I don't think so. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Ah, so this is sword guy. All right. Yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. All right. So this is a nice sword. All right. Um, combat in this game is supposedly very deep. I have tried it a couple of times. Not very good at it, but we'll see. Huh. Again, look at this game. I think a lot of uh, what makes this game look so great is the, are the plants, the vegetation. They look real. Everything just looks real, you know. I mean, even the characters, the people. All the characters, uh, they look like real people. There are no potato faces like in Oblivion. Uh, even in Skyrim, they, they you know that people just look created or manufactured, if that makes sense. 
Alright. Combat arena, really. Alright. Let's get to it. So, can we get started? We can! We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, oh. you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Last time? We barely know each other. Alright. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep right. moving. Your life depends on it. Alright. Then. In combat, you're locked onto your opponent. You can move around him by L. You can unlock by B. Alright. Alright, alright. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Alright, what is slashing? Slash is right trigger. The point oh. of the blade is for stabbing. Tried a few times. Now you. Now you. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off about of sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. All right. Chain strikes. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. So are you telling us to kill people? <laughs> Alright, I'll have to get something to eat. I'm oh come to on! Hungry. Fine. Well, we did get these apples for a reason. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. We don't even know your name. What is your name? Anyway. Fine, Mr. Nameless Swordsman. So, what do we do next? We still don't have money. Wait, maybe we can sell some of the apples. Um, hello? Good day. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk trade. <laughs> Alright, um, charcoal. We need one charcoal, I guess. Okay. And we can, s we can sell. So let's sell some apples. So how much is that? Close the deal. <coughs> Did we do Can it? Can we do something about the price? Naturally. Hmm. Haggling. Haggling works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. You select the amount you want to pay or or get with up or down on the d-pad and confirm with A. The trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is a refusal, he or she will make a counter offer and wait for your response. Trader's last offer. Da, 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 da. Okay. So, how much gold do we have anyway? Uh, No, but I'm not sure if we have gold. Do we have gold? Did those apples 
Very well, I agree. Oh, oh we need ten. We need, we need ten charcoal. Really? Um, okay. Um, fine. Um, so we need nine more. And if we're selling, let's sell the rest of the... I don't think... Huh. You know what? Uh, we'll be back. Just remove. So, how do we leave? <laughs> uh, okay, so we have to get the debt. So over there. Knew we should have gotten more apples. All right, are you? Yep, you are Kunish. God be with you, Kunish. What do you want? All right, he's a grouch. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Hmm. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. All right, he's being a asshole. Uh, persuasion. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want. To make on them. So the first option with the mouth you can simply use speech which however is influenced by the reputation you have at the moment with the person you're talking to. What's this? A heart with a crown. In the Middle Ages social status was paramount so the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are together with your reputation can make a big difference to how people respond to you. The swords if you look dangerous people will be afraid to cross you and you'll be you'll also be more willing to and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you that's influenced mainly by your strength and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment but other things are also taken into account such as blood stains on your clothes you can also i guess bribe in special cases you can try uh, anyway whatever Different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily. So I guess it's mostly common sense. You can expect to visit some fathers. Nothing. Debts must be paid. Let's. We 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 are like uh, we're a speech person. Look, I know things aren't easy. The wife ran off. Booze is dear these days. Wife You're ran as off. much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. If I had anything to uh -huh. give, I'd give it. But I've got nothing. So leave me in peace, all of you. Huh. So we actually succeeded in the speech check, but this guy still doesn't want to pay. Isn't there anything else we can do? What else can we do? Is this game wanting us to steal? Come on, leave.
He just left his axe, apparently. Okay, go away, go away. Right, let's just wander a bit. I think we can crouch. Alright, he's leaving. Got the axe. What else can we get? God save him. Thank you, whoever you are. Is that mother? Mother, weren't you home? Maybe you can steal a chicken. Hmm. All right. Vanishing. Buckets. This is a chest. Mm. A locked chest. I'll need a lock pick to get into that. All right, let's get Fritz out. might have one. All right, Fritz, one of our friends. All right, all right. You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German deeds. counts, traitors. Now even the Pope be with is you, Henry. To I'm with you, Matthew. All right, we found our friends. What's going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire! <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this. He would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch hmm. has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You're too wide, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. <sighs> Are you mad? Do you want to end up in Minus the Minus two hit points. Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parliament You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some turns will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Alright, 
we could be a good boy, but I guess if we want their help, we'll have to join. So, yeah. All right, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kroner shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem. We'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. All right. Let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. All right. And here we, f we have, friends, the medieval beginnings of the National Socialist Party. <laughs> oh, well. I guess they're harmless. Albert IV of Habsburg. But then again, the Deutsch. So the guy there... Have you lost something? I, what? Hello. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. What is wrong with Henry, his eyes? Henry, you can lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Oh, come on. Ah, all right. Lord Deutsch's wife away. Hello? Hmm. What do you want, lad? Well, this is the only... It's the only option. I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh... Well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Well, to be fair, that was actually true. We were actually telling the truth. Right, uh, who are you again? You. All right, cinematic. It's with all the flies. Ah, the manure. Uh -oh. Not with your hands. What are you waiting for, soldier? You gotta eat with those. By the hands. trebuchet, for king and country. Oh. For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund. <laughs> Woohoo! Eat shit, Doshas. Medieval pogroms. Oh. What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hans. Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. What no are you smites. doing with my house? I take no smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion? Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! Get revenge on Dutch! Right! Come on! Alright, how do we fight? Alright! We fight! Uh. Hey, stop! Stop it! Um, chain hits! Oh! What the hell? Alright! Oh! Ah. <laughs> all right, all right, he's done. Is that uh, all right? You're f you're an enemy. Stop right now! The catch pole is on its way. Catch pole. 
Right. I think that's that's the coppers. Alright, alright, alright. Run! Get to the chopper! Or wherever. Right. Meet the lads at Kunish. Get to the Kunish! <laughs> you have to love the accents. But the voice acting is fairly decent overall. I like it. Uh, Henry, I'm glad you stopped by. Yeah, who are you? Oh. Thank you. But something's taken a fancy. Henry is well liked. I'm still quite hungry. Hungry again. <laughs> It is lucky that we brought along a lot of apples. How far away is this place? We just made the rounds of the entire village. Is this it? Wait a minute, we've been here. We're going around in circles. Ah. Alright, 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 alright. We done. Oof. He's gone. Fucking Dutch. That was close. <laughs> I almost got caught for the damn Dutch. Alright, um, Fritz, you're Fritz, right? Listen, there's this locked chest I need to get into. Really? Can only stray not good enough for you anymore? It's just that someone has something that doesn't belong to him, and I want to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not as good as mine was anyway. I've got some lock picks you can have. But if you get caught, you didn't get them from me. <laughs> Never heard of you. Thanks, Fritz. Alright, thank you. Thank you very much. It's been fun. See you all at the Nationalist Assembly. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Kunish's house doesn't seem to be here. Oh damn, he's inside. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, let's. All right. Where is he going? All right. How do we do this? Rotate lock. Yeah, all right. What are we going to do? What's this supposed to do? What are we going to do? We could not. I have no idea how to operate that damn lock. So if we can't use stealth, let's use our popularity. All right. Okay. I need a hand with Kunesh. Show me. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. All right. It's kind of irritating that we weren't able to Jesus, do the lock. Where picking. you going? All right. Kunesh, get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. All right, come on. All right. What the fuck are you here for? Do you want me to take a rip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. All right. All right. All right. That was Enough! easy. Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? All right. What? what the hell are you doing? All right, we got Kunesh's keys. 
so we can open the damn door of that chest. Oh well, at least. All right. Very nice. So all we need to do is well sell them and get the charcoal. Good day. All right. So buying we need nine. All right. And sell. We sell Kumish's axe, his hammer, and nails. All right. Close the deal. Okay, we're done. Now all we need to do is get to the tavern. And this is the tavern. Hello, there you are. Welcome, Henry. Yep, you're Bianca. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Hmm. A little bit of foreplay. Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? All right. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. None yet. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, savor your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. No kiss. Good help to you, Henry. All right. So, um, though this is my first playthrough, I do know that the save your schnapps is the way that you save the game. But wait. So we can save the game. This will cost you one save your schnapps if we load. time is it? You know what? It's... There's a, it's supposed to autosave at this point, but uh, you've done quite a lot, so... Uh, I think we pretty much accomplished everything. What is A? A is basically we go back. Alright. Alright, let's finish this. There's nothing else that we can do. We can, of course, explore a bit more. Um, we still had money. We basically paid for everything. So we had money. Apparently we only have 0.5 money left, so... Let's go. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I guess we should save just before we get back to father. Time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. Ooh. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. We'll fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. But we did use Dennis our ready. mouth. <laughs> right, we'll do the grip. Oh well. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Barehanded, really? Is that how you really do things? Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague, and a score of castles, 
had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, uh, are you all right? <laughs> we're fine. Actually, we already have the nails, but anyway, I think that we'll cut it here because we are over an hour and uh, we shouldn't do that. So we save the game and lose one of our savior schnapps. Okay. Anyway, this has been Mark the Lone Gamer with our playthrough, our first episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And I hope that you have enjoyed this as much as I have because I am having a wonderful time so far in medieval Bohemia. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.